Elon Musk once said that the Tesla bot, Optimus, will eventually automatically understand humans, users' habits, daily routines, and take specific actions without being told. It's going to be way smarter than ChatGPT because every move Optimus makes will constantly update in real time. It'll basically know everything and be able to answer any question you throw at it, thanks to the real brain built inside Optimus. Yeah, Optimus is seriously shaping up to be the genius among all the humanoid robots being built right now. And Elon Musk has confirmed that by 2026, when Tesla officially starts selling the Tesla bot, it'll be able to handle a wide range of tasks. Before that happens, Optimus will keep getting updates and new capabilities through Tesla's crazy intense training process. Think of it like this, you just need to train one Optimus to cook, and instantly, that skill can be transferred to every other Optimus. Boom! Now, they all know how to cook. That's why Elon Musk keeps hammering the point, Tesla isn't just an EV company, they're the best at real-world AI. They've got cars driving themselves all over cities, and soon, it'll be humanoid robots walking the streets. So why exactly is Tesla's Optimus a genius? What updates are coming? How much will it cost? And what's the biggest challenge Tesla faces with the bot right now? Let's dive in. I don't think there's anyone even close to Tesla on solving real-world AI. Um, that same computer and software uh, goes into Optimus. Like in 2026, it's, it's really the kind of thing where you, you could tell it to do kind of a, a wide range of tasks. In an era where it feels like every week or month a new company jumps into the humanoid robot race, the competition is fiercer than ever. Companies aren't just battling over technical capabilities anymore. They're also racing on development speed, pricing, and real-world usefulness. Right now, the robots that can handle more tasks, from logistics and manufacturing support to assisting with everyday household chores, are the ones that will clearly pull ahead. But powerful features alone aren't enough. Intelligence, adaptability, and the ability to learn in new environments are the real game-changers. The smarter and more autonomous a robot is, the lower its operating costs, and the greater its economic value over time. At the same time, affordability is non-negotiable if companies want to reach the mass market, rather than staying stuck in niche industrial or research use. Elon Musk has repeatedly stated that Tesla Bot is designed to be the world's most sophisticated and intelligent humanoid robot. And according to Musk, once Tesla's production line is running at full capacity, they'll be able to manufacture the Tesla Bot for just $10,000. That's exactly why even Tesla's top rival, Boston Dynamics, also has to praise it. The CEO of Boston Dynamics acknowledged that. The Tesla team is are making great progress uh, in one year building uh, a couple of machines, you know, from scratch. You know, that's remarkable. Uh, they're shining a spotlight on the importance of this technology, which we've been arguing for 30 years. So I think that only helps us. Yeah. The new Optimus 22-degree uh, of freedom hand and Forearm is now in production. Um, and it's learning to walk and catch balls. It's pretty cool. I mean, I mean look, that's where we came from. It's wild. So in a very short period of time, uh, Optimus has gone from being uh, an idea to the most sophisticated humanoid robot on Earth. Optimus has proven it can handle useful tasks over the past two years. But honestly, that's just the beginning there's still a long road of upgrades and fine-tuning ahead before it reaches customers. From our perspective, Optimus needs to be able to perform at least 60 out of 100 tasks a human can do before it becomes truly useful. Yeah, and to get there, it's clear that Tesla needs to focus first on making Optimus move more fluidly and giving it a much more dexterous pair of hands. That's going to be a major upgrade focus this year. Right now, Tesla Optimus has shown it can climb stairs, but it still can't walk down them smoothly and safely on its own. This highlights that Tesla is still refining its dynamic, balancing, and center of gravity management systems. That said, Optimus has proven it can handle uneven, sloped terrain like hills, which shows its balance and gravity control are improving fast. Helping Optimus confidently go up and down stairs is likely just a matter of time, probably within the next few months. On another front, Optimus's hands can currently handle only basic tasks like grabbing, holding, and moving light objects. To truly be useful in everyday life, 
the next-gen hands will need to master more delicate operations, like cooking, washing food under running water, or bathing a pet. That means Tesla has to upgrade the tactile sensing systems in the hands, develop higher precision force control algorithms, and dramatically boost reaction speed when interacting with soft or changeable objects. However, in the face of this widespread anticipation and the dream of owning Optimus, Elon Musk dropped a bombshell. Optimus will only be sold in the US. More precisely, Tesla will focus on the domestic market. Oh my God, we believe quite a few people were left stunned by this announcement, especially since Musk had previously stated that anyone in the world would be able to own Optimus, that Tesla would sell them globally, and that all 8 billion people could potentially have one. Tesla even showcased Optimus in China and Japan, which led most to believe it would be available in every market. Yeah, and in the end, that didn't happen. Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized that if we own Optimus, we won't have to spend hours doing boring chores like cleaning, mowing the lawn, doing laundry, or lifting heavy objects. Instead, there would be a humanoid robot ready to do all of that, allowing you to make better use of your precious time, relaxing, caring for your family, or even working on personal growth. Especially on weekends, who wants to waste their valuable days off doing housework, right? Everyone wants to enjoy those moments, not be consumed by busyness. And that's exactly why Elon Musk is developing the Tesla bot. If it succeeds and goes into mass production next year, it could mark a major turning point, not just in technology, but in how we live and work. However, it seems even Elon Musk didn't anticipate a major obstacle that has hit Optimus. A crucial component that significantly impacts Optimus's usefulness is dependent on China. The Tesla bot might not stick to its $20,000 price tag anymore, and it could even face delays. Elon Musk just confirmed that Optimus has been affected by China's rare earth export restrictions. These materials are crucial for building the Tesla bot's 22 degree of freedom arms. Let's hear what Elon Musk had to say. Optimus was affected by the magnet uh, issue from China um, because the Optimus actuators in the arm do use permanent magnets. Now, te Tesla as a whole does not need to use permanent magnets, but when something is um, volume constrained, like, like an arm um, of the robot, uh, then you want to try to make the motors as small as possible. Um, and then, uh, so we did, did design in permanent magnet permanent magnets for those motors, and those were affected by the uh, supply chain, you know, by, by basically China requiring an export license to send out uh, any rare earth magnets. This is actually a pretty big deal. Just last month, Elon Musk said Tesla could produce at least 5,000 robots this year and start selling them to customers next year. It's clear Tesla is feeling the heat from the trade war. It's not just EVs struggling with tariffs anymore. Even humanoid robots are now heavily dependent on components from China. Let's hear more from Elon Musk. Almost everything in Optimus is new. There's, there's not like an existing supply chain for the motors, gearboxes, electronics, actuators, really anything in the, in the uh, almost anything in the Optimus, um, apart from the, the AI for Tesla, the Tesla AI computer, um, which is the same as the one in the car. Honestly, we were pretty surprised when Elon Musk admitted that the Tesla bot doesn't actually have an established supply chain. Not long ago, he sounded super confident that everything needed for the Optimus robot was basically ready. Since Tesla planned to reuse parts from its electric vehicles and adapt them for the humanoid robot. And Tesla has some important missing ingredients that, that others don't have, which is our, our robot has a real brain. Um, you know, it's like the Wizard of Oz. It's got the, it's got the real world AI. So Tesla's the, the leader in real world AI. Um, what we learned in the car, we translate to, to the Optimus robot. Um, and we also trans take the, our expertise in electric motors, in batteries, power electronics, uh, structural design. And then another major important thing is that we're very good at manufacturing. It's clear that things have shifted in the plan to produce Optimus, but it's definitely not the end of the road. Elon Musk still says limited production of Optimus will happen this year, although it'll have to wait until the end of the year. What really caught our attention recently was a leaked image of the Optimus assembly line. It showed what appears to be a redesigned Tesla bot. Its head, neck, and shoulders look much more refined. The actuators have been moved from the hands to the arms, likely to support the new generation of hands Musk keeps talking about. The 22 degrees of freedom hands. 
This might actually be the long-awaited Optimus Gen 3. The new arms are a complete redesign compared to the old version. If you want to have a humanoid robot that can um, do things that a human can do, it's actually it's a, it's a very high bar. So our, our new arm has 22 degrees of freedom instead of 11. The new arms are a complete redesign compared to the old version. Musk had previously mentioned that these arms were a huge engineering challenge. The hands alone take up nearly half of the total mechanical complexity of Optimus. To avoid making the hands massive, Tesla moved almost all the actuators into the forearms. The engineering team also had to design a cable system that mimics human tendons as closely as possible. But now, the big issue is this. Without rare earth magnets, Tesla can't build these robot arms. We will get a license to use the rare earth magnets. Um, China wants some assurances that these are not used for military purposes, which obviously they're not. They're just going into a humanoid robot. So it's not a weapon system. According to Elon Musk, China's still pretty concerned that Tesla might end up building the Optimus robot for unsafe purposes, something that could go down the Terminator path or even be used for military applications. Because of that, they want to make sure their rare earth magnets aren't used in any way that might benefit a defense project. Tesla is currently working with Beijing to get export permits to legally use those rare earth materials. When international suppliers demand such a high level of transparency and control, it becomes difficult for Tesla to immediately scale up globally. Therefore, starting with the domestic market is not only a safe choice but also a strategic move, allowing Optimus to develop more stably before going global. Even Elon Musk emphasized in a recent meeting that Tesla currently has a higher degree of localization than any other manufacturer and will continue to strengthen this in the future. However, this is not exactly welcome news for customers outside of North America who have been eagerly waiting for Optimus, as the robot may become not only more expensive, but also much harder to purchase. Unlike Tesla's electric cars, which often just sit in parking lots all day, Optimus robots are designed to actually work, handling tasks for you, and potentially even generating income by performing jobs on your behalf. That said, the term humanoid robot brings about a lot of mixed opinions and reactions. While most of us envision a bright future where these machines take on dangerous, exhausting, or just plain boring tasks, the reality is that many people feel anxious, even fearful, about this vision. They're worried that these machines could replace human jobs, or worse, dominate us, turning us into slaves, just like in the sci-fi movies we've all seen. The image of rogue robots trying to wipe out humanity still lingers in the minds of many. Some people even argue that humanoid robots are just clumsy, slow machines that sometimes look ridiculous. They compare them to wobbly walkers saying things like, it's like watching Biden walk, or like a drunk person stumbling home. And honestly, there's some truth to that. Most humanoid robots today are still struggling to prove they're actually useful in everyday life. Many of them even make people feel secondhand embarrassment due to their lack of refinement, which in turn fuels doubt about their real capabilities. That said, we can't deny that this technology is advancing rapidly every single day. To be fair, we're not here to claim that Tesla currently has the best or most advanced robot. But what we firmly believe is that Tesla's Optimus has the greatest potential to truly make a difference in people's lives. It stands apart from most other humanoid robots out there, because Tesla has put immense effort into making it as human-like, in function, and form as possible. Alongside its design, recent advances in AI have given robots truly extraordinary capabilities in just a few years. Put simply, AI is making robots smarter. And humanoid robots are how AI steps into the real world. In some ways, Optimus's brain functions similarly to a human's, because Tesla engineers have explained that it also needs to learn and download data to get smarter. It's like a person learning gathering knowledge and experience over time to become more intelligent. Of course, Optimus doesn't need decades of school like humans do. Our brains forget things and need repetition. But Optimus remembers from the very first time it receives information. Optimus's exceptional capabilities aren't science fiction. They're built on a powerful AI foundation that Tesla has spent years developing, including machine learning and deep learning. Thanks to this, the Tesla bot can self-adjust and optimize its behavior based on real-life situations, much like how humans learn and adapt every day. This gives Optimus a huge advantage, 
users don't have to train the robot from scratch after bringing it home. It's already been pre-trained on countless real-world scenarios and is nearly ready to serve right out of the box. Many people have wondered, I don't want to spend a whole month teaching a robot how to cook, clean, or open doors. With Optimus, that's no longer a concern. Of course, the big question always comes up. If robots become too smart, will humans lose their jobs? But just like how smartphones were once feared to make us overly dependent, when in reality, they created new industries, new roles, and improved quality of life. This is not a threat, it's a transformation in progress. And if you're worried that Optimus might end up like those rebellious robots from movies like I, Robot, or Terminator, Elon Musk has made it clear, that is not the goal. Optimus is designed to be a friendly companion, helping with everyday household tasks, from cleaning and cooking to assisting with elderly care. Tesla Optimus has significant potential to be sold not only in the U.S., but also in many markets around the world. And this is entirely feasible when considering the global trends in automation and globalization. One of the major challenges Tesla will face when expanding Optimus production beyond the U.S. is tariffs on raw materials, particularly the permanent magnets imported from China. However, Tesla can certainly find solutions to address this issue. For example, the company could expand its factories in China, like Giga Shanghai, to produce Optimus for the domestic market and neighboring regions such as Southeast Asia. Building a factory in China would help Tesla take advantage of the more affordable supply of components and mitigate the impact of tariff policies on materials imported from China into the U.S. Moreover, China is a huge market for automation technology, with many industries growing rapidly and a high demand for robots to replace manual labor. This factory would not only serve the domestic demand, but could also export Optimus to other countries in the region. In addition to China, Europe also represents a significant potential market for Tesla. Countries like Germany, France, and the Netherlands are strongly promoting the adoption of automation technologies in their manufacturing industries. Furthermore, Europe has more flexible tariff policies compared to the U.S., which can help reduce production costs. Tesla could build a factory in Europe, where these policies would assist the company in lowering costs and expanding production more easily. Much like autonomous driving technology, if Tesla Optimus proves effective and reliable in assisting workers and optimizing production processes, it could operate efficiently in any market, regardless of country or region. Therefore, Optimus is not just a product exclusive to the U.S., but could meet global demand, expand markets, and drive the development of the automation industry worldwide.